Week seven, optimal being, resonance, the law of resonance. Do you know what that means? What resonates with you? I know what was resonating with me. And the one thing that I want to share, which might change my life, is one thing that my dear friend who I've grown to just love and adore, Pierre DeBar, he shared something amazing with the group as we were going through words and how words resonate with us. The first word was family. The second word was dog. The third word was Hitler. <laughs> and it surprised most of us. Most of us, we have another word that come like for me, when family was said, love came to mind. When, when dog was said, happiness came to mind. When Hitler was said, the, the first thing that came to my mind was hate. The thing that changed my life, possibly changed my life, was when Pierre shared his experience of, of the words. And when he said that he, focus, he was focusing on seeing the words through the lens of love. And when he was going down the words and as he was explaining it, he was saying, when you said Hitler, love came to my mind because all I could think was, yeah, Hitler, all he wanted was love. And then one of the words was no. And Pierre's response was, I love saying no. And, and when you think about it like that, it can literally change your life when you start looking at everything like that. Can you look, what lens are you looking through in order to just, be optimal. That's the whole point. And be in alignment with love and joy and happiness and, and the beauties of life and really what we're meant to be as souls. And it was so cool. Man, Pierre, I feel indebted to you for sharing that knowledge. I don't know if you knew that already or if that came to you as we're going through that session. I have no idea. The one thing that I do know is that it, it changed my life. I'm going to say right now, it changed my life and the way I look through things. I am a very happy, joyous person who really does look m most of the time through the lens of love. And I couldn't even help, but when I heard the word Hitler, hate came to my mind. And you changed that for me. You changed the way that I thought about that and, and realizing that, man, all Hitler wanted was love. That, that's what he wanted. He wanted some love in his life. And, and dang, like it's all I, all I could say is just, uh, just wow. There was, there was a few other things that I could share, but I, I don't need to, I, I, I feel inspired to just, really harp on that fact of can you look through the lens of love at everything? Look at everything through that lens of love. And it could be, we can just experience the world amazingly. I don't even have a word for it. Beautifully, fantastically, tremendously, perfectly look through that lens of love at everything. Pierre, thank you. This week I'm, I'm thanking Pierre. I love everybody in optimal being everybody that's in the session, the leaders, the participant, everybody involved in the group that I'm in optimal being and Pierre, especially this week, that was a golden nugget. That was just perfect. God bless you.